Hey everyone, welcome to Alchemy Star. So today we'll have a updated beginner's guide for beginners, obviously, and also for returning players. We've had a lot of updates ready for the game since launch last year. So definitely a new beginner's guide should be rolled out. So should you reroll? Okay, that's my first question. So again, not necessarily uh, do you need to reroll usually would get you know the the four suggested uh aurorians in probably as you progress um play the game at your own pace i don't think when you start you're really recommended to reroll and also this game is not really competitive you could play this at your own pace there's no pvp um game mode so again no pressure to get the best units but again if you really want the best units here are my suggestions. I'm going to give you guys one per element. So to start with, we're going to be talking about Hero. Hero is going to be, hands down, the best um, Aurorian for Forest. The next one is for Fire, which is Sinza. The other two guys I don't have yet. So I'm going to show you a wiki that I'm using and showcase them here. So, as you can see here, for Thunder, it's the best one is going to be Michael. And for Water, it's going to be Sharona. So, those are the four that I'm recommending just in case you reroll. I'm sorry, guys. I don't have a, I don't have a reroll guide for you. But again, um, you, there are lots of guides there for rerolls. So, you might just want to check them out. But again... Those are my thoughts. Those are my opinions. So those are the four recommended for reroll just in case you want to. And also first, you have to progress in the story if you want to unlock content. So as you unlock, as you progress in the story, gaining chapters, you will also get chapter rewards here that will help you progress and help you, you know, get rewards, get summons and i'm at chapter 10 already and definitely for chapter every, every time you unlock you will unlock con other content as well outside of story so uh play the game at your own pace i don't think you need to rush this again i as i've said earlier this doesn't have a pvp mode so this game is more of relaxed um in my opinion so next is we're gonna learn some basics in terms of what you need to know other than the other two that we discussed so number one is going to be currency first and foremost you have here your lumamber of your upper right so this currency is actually used in summoning and also you can spend this to add prism so prism is going to be here prism is your energy when you expect when you spend in terms of playing um story mode uh, farming for resources you're gonna need it but if you ask me, do you convert your Lumamber to Prism? If you're free to play, no, definitely no, because um, this is going to be your very, very valuable to you if you're free to play. If you're not free to play, however, you can actually spend some for for Prism just to you know um, give yourself an edge in terms of progression if you really want to. So based on my opinion. If you want to add uh, Prism, the first one is going to be 30. Okay. The next one after 30 is going to be 40. So I think only two is worth it. So that is 70 Lumember. That is, you know, I think a fair exchange for 120 Prism. So again, you get an edge on progression and also you don't spend that much on the Lumember. So that is for your currency. So uh, I'm not sure if you're going to use that formula of mine, but those are my recommended. And the last one is going to be, going to be Nitium. Nitium is used in upgrading your hero. So use in equipment, ascension, and upgrade. So those are the three. Um, you have to farm Nitium also. It's also a pain as well. So again, basic currency that you have to take note of. And let's move on to some of the lineups that I have here. Okay, let's go to let's go to story mode. Let's try to play this one. So if you go to challenge, 
for example, this is going to be your lineup here. So as you can see, the last slot can you can remove an Aurorian and you can actually select a support. Okay, so supports are are actually from your friends list. Uh, so it's also um, highly encouraged that you add friends as early as possible so that you can take advantage of the support that they'll be giving you. So a lot of level 80 already from my friends, Victoria, Hero. So a lot of level 80 already. So again, support can only be used in story mode. Okay, so it really helps you go along and clear out story as fast as possible. Because again, story again unlocks a lot of content. So support, I'm going to repeat myself can only be used in story mode. You can't use them in other content. For your fire, let's say for example here, the first class or the first type of unit or Aurorian is going to be your detonator. So detonators are definitely the highest, usually the highest DPS. Um, they are usually uh, melee in nature. They, they fight hand to hand most most of the time they have a lot you know, of other you know um a lot of other skills to put aside from their attack so again high dps is usually your detonator they're usually melee the other counterpart of dps is definitely going to be i don't have a sniper here for let's go to the other elements so here we go luke so Luke is definitely going to be your sniper. So sniper is also a high DPS unit, but they usually, again, because they're snipers, they are attacking uh, with range. So they could usually take out units across across the board or even mid or even the farthest target, depending on the active skill that they have or the combo you know skill that they have so again these are your first dps units your detonator and sniper the next are going to be your converter so for your converter let's go to shoban the covid19 girl <laughs> uh shoban is going to be your converter obviously they convert um, tiles to the color of their element they have additional abilities to their skill so you have to check out each converter it also applies to detonators and snipers they have additional skills aside from their primary attack and the last one is going to be your support so, so your support class is uh, going to be very diverse um support classes um sometimes has heals sometimes they have uh teleport for the case of Barbara here, uh, she's one of my favorite supports. She does a ton of damage for support. So again, those are the four types, your detonator, sniper, converter, and support. So you have to check them out because each has their own specialization, but sometimes they overlap in terms of abilities. Um, so you have to check them out in terms of team building. So if you ask me from all of these elements, what is my element of choice if you're already a beginner if you're gonna start what do you you know prioritize because some are saying that other elements are better than the other but again if you're starting you don't really have a choice you have to go with what you have so definitely um element of choice as a beginner no do not choose um i have actually started out with um, with fire as my best element then eventually i went to thunder because of you know who i recruited who i was able to summon and eventually i ended up with forest because when i had hero i definitely um you know i definitely stuck with hero because i wanted to develop her and plus i had a very good cast and recently about i think three weeks ago i got Migard. <clears throat> so definitely i'm sticking with forest as my main team but again if you're a beginner i don't think you have the luxury of choosing so don't choose please when you're starting next is going to be farming 
so farming um it's going to be farming for resources so you have your resource for your resource um colossus material definitely one of your primary um priorities when you're beginning because your colossus will definitely um give you other resources as well you also have to uh, to farm here for our upgrade material ascension upgrade um you need them you need to farm them here so again you have to check these out and just one tip in terms of farming if you really want to farm specifically for a for a aurorian that you need to level up so let's check out gronru here so i'll take her as an example um i want to ascend her for example i want to ascend her so i actually lack these two okay so for this one you just click then as you can see here if you want to farm this if you see a regular drop that's a hundred percent um sure drop so you can farm that um uh, um number of times that you need uh for example this is seven uh three out of ten so i need seven for this one it's also they also have a regular drop and also Take note, you also have these yellow order boxes that you can also convert to to these to this currency to the Thunder Flare Rock. So you could use that first before you um, use your, you go to regular drop. But this one, the second, this one, the first, uh, what do you call this? The first uh, resource that you need. It's usually, it's usually the same for every element. These are the hardest to farm. So what I do is I do not farm for the low um, the low rarity. I go to Colossus Workshop here. So if you go to Colossus Workshop, I just want to give you guys some tips on the workshop. So this is what you need. Um, and this is what you're going to spend. Okay, so... Obviously, if you're going to spend these, these are going to be depleted. But these are easier to find because you're going to be... You can farm these in regular drops. And regular drops, as you remember, are 100%. So don't be afraid to go through here and smelt and smelt in the workshop so that you could get the right uh, resource so that you could upgrade or ascend your figures. Okay? So that is it. So first and foremost, let's talk about the bridge. The bridge actually up upgrade every time you upgrade the bridge, it also upgrades the levels of your uh, sections here. So different sections that you can upgrade. So if you want to upgrade this to level five, their bridge also has to be level five. So that is just it. Um, please take a look at the functions of your compartments or chambers here because they have specific sometimes they have small buttons there that you can't see please take a look at them because again they will be crucial in your progress in the game but i'm gonna discuss with you guys the sequence of which what to upgrade so first is going to be your resource station your resource station actually gives you rewards when you farm it gives you additional um additional resources so that's it aside from your basic ones that you get already but when you have um, when you have uh, what do you call this uh carriers then you get additional resources so this one gives you carriers for additional resources so next is going to be your prism pillar so this again i'm just going to repeat this is the order of priority in terms of upgrade next is going to be prism pillar uh obviously this will give you additional prism so that is why I'm suggesting this. Next is going to be your dispatch office. This dispatch office is going to be more like the tasks that you give out. They will yield you um, a dispatch rewards, obviously, so that you can progress your game and also your Aurorian. So after your dispatch office, the next priority would be your starlight chamber. So for starlight chamber you will be getting Hearthstones. Hearthstone is also used for um, upgrading uh, or progression of your um, Aurorians. And also the next one is your workshop. As you saw earlier, the workshop is 
combination of, of resources to get what you need and also spending resources there as well. Next is going to be your exploration. So for your exploration, uh, this currency, your MS, is going to be used in your secret territory. The next after exploration is going to be your simulation room. So your simulation room is here. And the simulation room is also giving you resources and rewards. So these are battles in which, again, it's a simulation room. So a simulation of battles where you can earn rewards. And also the last probably priority would be your Lumina Grid. So your Lumina Grid powers up your Colossus. So upgrade as needed. Just going to give you a few tips for formation. So just going to bring Charon back. Okay, so when you're creating your own team, ideally the position for the first slot, the captain, is a DPS unit. Um, and also, um, if he has effects affecting damage, like for example, for Sinsa, he gives a debuff to enemies for um, debuff for defense. So lowering defense. So he must be first to attack so that he may apply it and the others may avail of that debuff for lower defense. Um, the first position is ideally for DPS, um, not the, your highest DPS. Your highest DPS is definitely going to be on your last position. So highest or second highest, either of them you can swap. So at least we're done with the first and the last ones. Okay, so for your second slot, ideally, um, in IC's place here, you put here a um, DPS support or converter depending on their attack stat. Okay, but uh, most importantly, if you have other um, Aurorians that have effects that uh, affect damage, also you may put them here on the second slot if they're not if they can't be put on the first slot so again these three you will have to arrange them depending on increasing attack so from ic up to charon here so the attacks are increasing so this one doesn't have to follow to be doesn't have to have the lowest attack because this also has to have the highest attack so again uh for the first and last should be the highest dps and from here this is the lowest attack up going to the right is going to have uh, to, to have an increasing attack so again supporter either supporter converter or even a dps either a um detonator or sniper you have to arrange them here depending on the attack okay guys so that is it so far so Hopefully, I have helped you in this updated beginner's guide. So, if you have any other questions or if you have any suggestions, please put them down in the comment section below. And if you're still here, please do consider subscribing because this helps my channel a lot. Thank you, guys. Take care. Stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.